July the 4th, 2022. Guys, I hope everyone is having a great 4th of July. We're looking at some CERN images. Today's a big day, but let me say this. There's been a lot of different opinions across the nation about voting. And after what we saw in the last election, the presidential election, a lot of people said it's just not worth it anymore to do it because regardless of what you do, it's rigged, right? You, you understand? So what does what happens there is the psychology of the event that we saw happen in 2020. That very well, and then what we saw after that with the elections and the, and the uh, recounts and everything, that was designed to, to make people, that, people that were hardworking Americans, that, were, that cared about this country, say, well, it's just not worth it to vote. And so they win the battle. Do you understand what I'm saying? They won the battle twice. First, they changed the numbers on the last election, and the second one would be to convince you that it's not worth you to vote. That should make you want to not only vote, but bring extra people with you. Think about that. It's 4th of July. Independence Day, we didn't, we didn't have that 1776 because uh, things were great and happy. You understand? Anyway, CERN today, you're looking at images. From, notice the timestamp in the very center in the yellow, 7-5, because they are six hours ahead of New York. So when you're looking at 03900 hours, then that would be um, 8.39 on the East Coast. Now, it's taken me a couple of hours to put all of this together and, and get it um, put together to where I can put it up on YouTube, and it takes a little bit of time to uh, load it. Now, let's let this thing go live. And what you're looking at, beam one on the left, that's coming around the left side of the 1,700, or excuse me, 17-mile collider. Notice the time stamp in the yellow, July the 5th. They're six hours ahead of New York. So if you're at 03900 hours, notice again in the yellow, if we look at this, the, them lining up the beams, then you're at 839 on the East Coast. Now, it's taken me a little bit of time to put all of this together and to get it uploaded on YouTube. So it's a little not exactly live, but what they're doing, beam one and beam two, as I was drawing these red lines across it, they're lining them up to collide head on. That doubles the power. Now we're looking here again, notice your timestamp, July 5th, but here's what they were trying to do. Reach 6,800 giga electron volts. That's per beam. So you double that on your power. And we, as, let me zoom this up. Notice 7,000 giga electron volts. That's 7 tera electron volts just like on a computer giga versus tera that black line is at 6800 and i said this yesterday um that i've seen this power before now if we look at this on a real close-up scale we're looking at an hour and 45 minutes here it reached peak between the red and blue beam going back to the left at 2300 hours then the blue line indicates midnight there so once they were, they said by July 5th, and that that blue line indicates the change, they were at 6,800 6, giga electron volts or 6.8 tera electron volts. And when that collides, that gets you into 13.6 tera electron volts. Now, you're looking at all of the sections within the 17 mile tunnel. And if they're green, everything's good because this is called the cryogenics. This is important. They're running at two degrees, I mean, below two degrees Kelvis in the temperature. And if any, if it goes below that anywhere, any of these sections, and look at all the different sections, even one of them, they have to shut it all down. That's just an example there. When you see it red, but everything is green, they're getting ready. As we look at our magnetopoles, our shields, notice the uh, distortion. This is going back uh, on the 4th. This is today. 
here in the U.S., but they're U they are universal time also, and you can see the distortion in the shields. Now, they are talking about they're going to refire up at 9 a.m., uh, excuse me, 9 p.m. Uh, Zurich time. That's uh, the time where CERN is at. And so that would be at about 3 p.m. this afternoon. So if you go to the CERN site where you're going to watch the live webinars, you may get just a, a uh, everything's buffering just like this. I went there to check it out. And I think so many people have uh, gone there that it's just kind of crashed the site. We've seen it before. They've been announcing it for days. But notice at the very bottom, on July the 4th, 2022, at 9 o'clock Euro Zurich time, they're going to try to refire this thing up. So we're, we're right in that period of time. And w I'm, I'm not sure what we would be watching here. Would it be part of the seminar? Would it be live events? Watching some of the in instrumentation at CERN? I'm not sure. But again, it looks like because of the buffering and their announcements that it has overwhelmed their server. But that's what we've got going on. We don't know what this will uh what the outcome of this will be? Will it um, be just a more energy for them to work with over this uh, run three, as they're calling it? But what we do know that for the last hour and 45 minutes as of this video, that they had been running a solid 6,800 giga electron volts. And if that continues, what will happen is that there will be a tremendous effect on the shield. It what you're seeing when that shield bends down at the north or south hemis or southern hemisphere and touches the earth and collapses, that it'll bounce back. That's a natural reaction of our planet and what's called our plasma sphere. In reaction to an incoming energy, the earth will generate the shield stronger in a uh, towards the sun because they know it's happening that first pulse of energy activates the plasma sphere it reacts and pushes back out and protects the earth well how long and that's when CERN is coming up for an hour or two dropping back down an hour or two and it bounces back but how long will it take or how long can our shields take a constant 6.8 tera electron volts, 100,000 times stronger than our magnetic shield, our Earth shields. If it maintains that steady voltage or <clears throat> electron voltage, we're going to have to pay very close attention. If you look on our website at bpearthwatch.com, scroll down on the left and you'll see that there's a link to the magnetosphere. Check that out, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.